So this is Mikey right now. I'll uh, lead you around the bike and tell you what I've done with it. First of all, the frame. I had it powder coated in uh, uh, white non gloss, and uh, that actually worked out really, really nice. It's uh, just a beautiful uh, powder coating, and I believe it costed me only a uh, hundred bucks. Uh, beautiful powder coating. Uh, then I've uh, installed the triple tree, as I showed you in one of my last videos. Um, I've got the front wheel rim here, which I sanded, sanded down thoroughly, and I uh, lacquered it with a KBS uh, diamond finish. I'll uh, make a video about the lacquering process at a later stage. Um, I've uh, replaced all the original uh, steel balls for uh, stainless steel balls uh, as this will uh, cause me less trouble in the future. Um, this is the uh, engine mounting. It's loads of brackets and bolts. That's all uh, stainless steel bolts plus all the aluminium parts I have sanded down with a uh, grid 100, 140, even buffed a little bit or polished with some com compound and then I uh, lacquered it as well, painted it with my uh, KBS uh, diamond uh, finish. This is the uh, swing arm which I installed. Uh, there's no video of that, but basically I installed the swing arm, the rear shock the cushion rod and the cushion lever which is all situated right here uh, also rod, lever, swing arm and uh, rear shock I uh, coated with the KBS diamond finish clear coat and uh, the spring from the uh, rear shock I had powder coated and here's my rear rim which is also uh, Sand it thor thoroughly and then um, paint it with the uh, clear coat from KBS <laughs> once more. Apparently this uh, KBS clear coat is a really tough coat and it will uh, yeah, uh, stay good in the worst of circumstances. Uh, and it's uh, just super super hard, it's uh, nothing as you've ever experienced. Uh, I was told by the website and uh, I decided to try it out. This is the, uh, the extra gas canister for my rear shock, uh, also sanded and clear coated. And uh, yeah, it just looks all really, really spiff. So, got a couple of more projects to do now. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's come a long way, but it looks really good, I think. Uh, what I have to do now is uh, firstly uh, get the bike back onto its feet. So I have to um, uh, lace the wheels, so put spokes on them. Uh, the hubs are all prepared, all uh, powder coated, uh, set in black. Um, then I have to work on my, uh, my shocks, my, my front uh, forks, I'm sorry. I have to replace the, uh, the bushings and the dust seal and the oil seal, plus put in new backup washers. Uh, one of my shocks is over here right now, and uh, oh, my front uh, forks, and uh, yeah, I sanded it down, still have to sand it a bit more, and then coat it. And these are all the uh, loose bits and pieces that I'm going to replace on the right side. And of course the bolts from the uh, fork I replaced by stainless steel, plus a couple of washers. So, no, yeah. I think it's going to look really, really good. It's going to be an awesome bike. And uh, now, yeah, I expect to uh, uh, be working on it for another probably four or five months, uh, which is all basically budget related because it's, uh, it's costing me a pretty penny to uh, fix it all up, but I believe it's worth it. So, now, Mikey, the new Mikey. So, hopefully, in about half a year or so. I'll be able to uh, ride it here in Australia, which I'm really looking forward to. Okay, 
Uh, see you guys later and uh, hope you're enjoying my videos. Okay, bye.